We have previously discussed that sound is a wave through a medium. But what makes different sounds different? I'm not talking about the difference between thrash metal and chamber music. That would be a bit too nerdy for this course. Instead, we'll describe the science of loud versus weak sounds and high-pitched versus low-pitched tones. The sound level, or volume, is a measure of the pressure difference that occurs when a sound is generated. The more energy we use, the higher the sound pressure difference, which is only logical. The harder you hit the drum, the louder the sound. In our sound wave, sound pressure is represented by the height of the waves, or the amplitude. The higher the sound pressure, the higher the waves. Sound pressure is measured in Pascal. But to save us from keeping track of a bunch of zeros, scientists introduced decibels. The weakest sound level we can perceive is called the hearing threshold. At the upper end of the chart, we have the pain threshold at 120 to 140 decibels. The sound pressure is a million times higher at the pain threshold than at the hearing threshold. How loud we perceive a sound also depends on the distance to the sound source. When we talk about workplace noise limits, which we'll get to later, we mean the sound level experienced by people rather than the sound level right next to the sound source. As shown in the picture, the sound level drops by six decibels every time the distance to the sound source is doubled. Say the sound level of a chainsaw is 100 decibels next to the user's ear, then it's a little less than 80 decibels, four meters away.